Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chalvin Sung. Welcome back to our Healthy Eyes, Healthy Life series. Today, let's talk about myopia. There is an epidemic of myopia, and Singapore is the capital of myopia. One quarter of Singaporean children are myopic by the time they are in primary one. In our previous video, we have discussed how the long and stretched eyeball in pathological myopia can increase the risk of blinding eye diseases, including glaucoma, retinal detachment, and myopic macular degeneration. These risks are higher when myopia is more than six diopters. Unfortunately, there is no cure for myopia as the condition is irreversible after the eyeball is elongated and stretched. So even when refractive procedures are performed so that spectacles are no longer required, the risk of eye diseases associated with pathological myopia remains. Hence, it is important to prevent myopia or slow down its progression so that the eyeball does not become too long. Play outdoors. Spending two hours each day outdoors protects against the onset of myopia. Exposure to sunlight is thought to slow down or prevent the abnormal growth of the eye. Being outdoors also encourages your child to look further into the distance. Also, reduce near work. Examples of near work include reading, using the computer, and playing games on mobile devices. Minimize unnecessary screen time, especially if it is not essential for your child's education. Follow the 20-20-20 rule when doing schoolwork. Take a vision break every 20 minutes. Look at something 20 feet away for at least 20 seconds. If your child's myopia is increasing rapidly despite these lifestyle changes, discuss with your eye doctor whether further treatment is required. Studies have shown that atropine eye drops can reduce myopia progression. However, atropine has some side effects, including pupil dilation. This makes the child more sensitive to sunlight. It also interferes with the child's ability to read. Hence, bifocal glasses may be required when atropine is prescribed. In recent studies, lower doses of atropine have been shown to be effective with less pupil dilation and less impairment of near vision. Certain types of spectacle lenses and contact lenses have also been shown to slow myopia progression. If you are considering contact lenses for your child, do ensure that the lenses are carefully cleaned as poor hygiene can predispose to blinding infections. I hope that you enjoyed this video about preventing and controlling myopia. Please subscribe to our channel to learn more about myopia and other important eye conditions. Till then, I wish you healthy eyes and a healthy life.